decimal money and decimals children in previous topic we already understand about decimal number we know money can also be expressed in decimal you all know that 100 paise makes 1 rupee 100 paise is equals to 1 rupee means 1 paisa is 100th part of a rupee so in decimal we write as 1 by 1 8 paisa equal 800th of a rupee means rupees 8 upon 100 or rupees 0.08 10 paisa equal 10 hundred of a rupee means rupees 10 upon 100 or rupees 0.10 25 paisa equal 25 hundreds of a rupee means rupees 25 upon 100 or rupees 0.25 100 paisa equal 100 hundreds of a rupee means rupees 100 upon 100 or rupees 1.00 oh we already know that 100 paisa is 1 rupee 125 equals 125 hundreds of a rupee means rupees 125 upon 100 or rupees 1.25 478 paisa is equals to 478 hundred of a rupee means rupees 478 upon 100 or rupees 4.78 to convert paise into rupee we put a dot after two digits from right let's convert some paise directly into rupees 3285 paisa is equals to rupees 32.85 645 paisa is equals to rupees 6.45 29 paisa is equals to rupees 0.29 Very good. Now you easily convert paisa into rupee. Let's convert rupee into paisa now. Show conversion one by one. One rupee is equals to one into hundred, means hundred paisa. Five rupees is equals to five into hundred, means five hundred paisa. Ten rupees is equals to ten into hundred, means one thousand paisa. To convert rupee into paisa, multiply the amount by hundred. Rupees fifteen point four zero is equals to rupees fifteen plus forty paisa. Digits after represent paisa is equals to. One thousand five hundred paisa plus forty paisa is equals to one thousand five hundred and forty paisa. To convert rupee into paisa, multiply the amount in rupee by hundred and add it to the number of paisa. Rupees twenty point five five is equals to rupees twenty plus fifty five paisa. Two thousand paisa plus fifty-five paisa means two thousand fifty-five paisa. In fact, just remove decimal point to get the number of paisa. Rupees one sixty point two four is equals to sixteen thousand twenty-four paisa. Rupees seventy-five point seven five is equals to. Seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five paisa. Very good. 
Now you can convert rupees into paisa also. Addition and subtraction of money. Sudhir purchased a ruler worth three rupees forty paisa and pencil worth of two rupees ten paisa. How much did he spend in all? Rule one: Express the amount in numeral form if they are not already so. Cost of ruler is rupees three point four zero. And cost of pencil is rupees two point one zero. Rule two: Write the amounts from under each other so that the decimal points are in line under one another. Let's add and find total amount spent by Sudhir. Rule three: Add or subtract as you would do in case of whole numbers. So after addition, we find that Sudhir spent rupees five point five zero in all. Arpit bought jogging shoes for rupees six seventy three point four five, a cap for rupees fifty six point seventy five, and a keychain for rupees twenty five point five zero. He gave the shopkeeper. A one thousand rupee note. What amount the shopkeeper returned to him? Change the numerals so that decimal points are in a line. After adding the price of all three items, it becomes rupees seven hundred and fifty-five point seven zero. Since Arpit gave rupees one thousand to shopkeeper. So subtract the total cost from rupees one thousand. After subtracting, shopkeeper will return rupees two hundred and forty-four point three zero to Arpit. It's easy to add or subtract the decimal number. Only remember the proper arrangement of the numeral and decimal point. Multiplication of money by a whole number. The value of one U.S. dollar in terms keeps on varying from time to time. If one U.S. dollar is equals to rupees thirty-nine point eight five, what is the cost of fifteen dollars? One U.S. dollar is equals to rupees thirty-nine point eight five. So, fifteen U.S. dollar is equals to rupees thirty-nine point eighty five. Into fifteen. Multiply as you would multiply whole number. Children, multiplication of money is also very easy. It is done in the same way as you would multiply whole numbers. However, must not forget to put the decimal after two digits from the right in the product. Division of money by a whole number. The cost of a box of twelve pencils is rupees thirty-five point seventy-six. What is the cost of one pencil? Cost of twelve pencils is equals to rupees thirty-five point seven six. Then, cost of one pencil is equals to rupees thirty-five point seven six divided by twelve. Division of money is done in the same way as we would divide whole numbers. But place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Estimating total cost. Anjali went to a bakery and ordered some items. Four pastries at rupees nineteen point two zero. Five patties at rupees fourteen point five zero. Four cream rolls at rupees. Eight point seven five. Find the estimated amount spent. Let's arrange these figures in a table first. For a quick mental estimate, round the cost to its greatest place value, and then add the rounded number. So, children, you understand the money and decimal. Keep practicing. 
and we will meet soon with another important topic.